Well, got another scooter. Um, I got all you know. If you subscribe to me, you would know that I made a homemade scooter. Yeah. Well, that thing is a piece of shit. It uh, the the mounts on the block actually broke off, so I don't have an aluminum welder, and I couldn't fix it and stuff like that. Plus, I have to fix it all the time because it would have problems and uh, stuff like that. But since the engine wasn't built for uh, tough toughness, so uh, I traded for this thing. But when I got this thing, it was very rough sh shape, and all the engine was all off. It was in pieces. The clutch was in pieces. Everything. It was horrible. Um, also, the back wheel was all fucked up. The spacers in here were missing, so I had to make another one. Uh, took a brass piece and drilled the center out. Fix that. This side, I just added washers. Uh, so uh, the sprocket will line up. It has a coasting uh, sprocket. You can hear that. It has very, very, very low gearing. This thing has so much torque, and it goes around like max around 10, 15 miles per hour. You could almost walk faster than this thing going full throttle. That's how slow it is. But the reason I got it for was didn't like the other scooter and the little kid was just working on crap like that he barely knows anything so I traded it for this piece of junk some of, some of you would know that uh, they used to sell these in Canadian Tire I thought they were fast but oh man they are so fucking slow complete piece of crap also the uh, when I got it I forgot about the gas tank, so I still need to pick that up. I'm using a, a spare one right now. I took the carb out of that Kawasaki uh, weed whacker I had in my update video. Because the other carburetor was just so bad. It was complete garbage. The quality of it, of it like the gaskets and crap, were starting to crack and shrivel. thing was so bad, so I just took this carb and put it over. You can't tune it or anything, but it works great on this engine, since uh, I think the two are the same size. Uh, the air filter that came with this was missing. It was just uh, half of it, just the base. So I took the air filter from my old scooter since I upgraded this one over to this, and it works great. Uh, also, the pull start is gone, so I have to use a drill to start it drill on 24 volts to start the damn thing. Um, what else? Also, I ported the exhaust. There was a lot of imperfections inside. So I have to use my Dremel and clean it out. Revs a bit higher since I did that. Also, the, the manifold. And uh, also, the other funny thing when I got this, it had no gaskets. I was surprised seeing this run one time when the kid was riding around. Uh, the gaskets were all missing so that's why when I tried starting it with a drill it didn't run at all it took forever and I uh, made new gaskets this one's a little rough I'm gonna remake this one the one in the in the engine block is uh, made with a real gasket gasket material also the rear brakes are gone so I used the handle from the rear brakes to use as throttle and uh, the front brakes are completely shot. They only work a tiny bit. But since this thing is so damn slow, <laughs> you don't even need it. You could stop by your foot. You could just put your legs down and uh, still stop it. So slow. But uh, since uh, it has low gearing, I was thinking of taking the sprocket off and putting on the bike right there put it on where the pedal is, just cut the pedal off and uh, somehow mount it on there with screws and it should be good 
after that, just somehow hook the engine up to the frame and it should be ready to go. Uh, the engine, the engine is fine, it has good compression and everything, but the main bearings are completely shot because they're making really loud sounds. Like a, when a bad, when a bearing goes bad, it makes that clunking sound. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. Just gonna use this engine until it dies, basically. But the clutch on it is really good. It's the same size as that engine, the clutch thing. So in case if there anything happens, I could just buy a new engine and keep this clutch since I filled it up with grease and everything. Also, uh, there was a lot of missing screws. So uh, that wasn't good also. I'm still missing two main screws right here for the clutch. I'm just using them, two of them down here. Since I didn't really care about it. And the mounts are under here for the engine. So this shouldn't affect that much, but I'll try to find another uh, screws for it. But overall, this thing is a piece of shit. There's the rear cover for it. He uh, bented it up and everything, so I can't put it back on. Uh, I'll make a, I'll make a startup video later on. That's all.